Well, we've got the PlayStation 5 launch games out of the way, and now it is time to look on into the future. And while I would say the rest of 2020 is relatively light as far as new PlayStation 5 game releases go, December has a couple of cool ones that I do want to go over, specifically six titles. So without further ado, let's look at six PlayStation 5 games that are coming in December 2020. First of all, probably the major title in December, that is Immortals Phoenix Rising. Wow, is Ubisoft decided to put out a lot of open world games right around the same time. They put out Watch Dogs Legion, they put out Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and now they have a brand new IP in Immortals Phoenix Rising. The game notes that it brings grand mythological adventure to life play as Phoenix on a quest to save the Greek gods. A take on mythological beasts and master the legendary powers of the gods. And in the world, which I would have to say is rather colorful, you'll defeat Typhon, the deadliest titan in Greek mythology, in an epic fight for the ages, confront mythological enemies, face off against legendary beasts like Cyclops, Medusa, or Minotaur, and confront them in fast-paced aerial and melee combat, combining your god-given abilities and weapons and wield the power of the gods. This is a game that, truth be told, I am not completely sold on. I kind of like the original name too, uh, Gods and Monsters, Immortals, Phoenix Rising, yeah, I don't really know know what to think about that name but at the end of the day a name doesn't really dictate the quality level of a game so we'll see how it turns out a lot of my friends have actually been hitting me up and telling me they think this game looks like a mobile title which i can kind of see from the layout of the controls but if you actually look at the game i think calling it a mobile title is a little bit of a stretch uh, i do hope it does see some success because we need new original ips in the market and you need those ips to be good and you want those ips to be successful as well it's hard a lot of the times to, to resonate with new ips but it's entirely possible you've seen games like ghost of tsushima do really well the game's at a high enough quality quality level it is going to resonate especially in 2020 and heading into 2021 i feel like now more than ever word gets around about games that are at a high quality level even if they are not the most hyped up games in the world so we'll see how immortals turns out the game is due out on December 3rd, so be on the lookout for that. Another game out December 3rd is one I am very excited for. This is coming from the Game Bakers, the developers behind Fury, and that is Haven. Yes, a lot of you guys probably played Fury. Pretty interesting game there. Not a perfect game, but had a lot of interesting elements and mechanics, and that a little bit difficult at times, but... Nevertheless, Haven is now coming on December 3rd, and it is about two lovers who gave up everything and escaped to a lost planet to be together, glide through a mysterious landscape, explore a fragmented world, and fight against what's trying to tear them apart in an RPG adventure about love, rebellion, and freedom. Game has a great art style. If I had to say one thing, the art style is definitely something that is captivating, if nothing else. The game does have solo play, but you can also play with shared and split-screen cooperative play, so you can do that as well. Uh, the game centers around you and Kay, and they have ex escaped to a forgotten planet, leaving everything they knew behind. Play two lovers at the same time as they settle into an unknown world. Explore the planet, looking for parts and material to fix your ship and make it a cozy home. Enjoy moments of everyday life as a relatable couple while cooking meals, crafting, and collecting precious resources to make it to the next day. Fight against those trying to tear you apart by synchronizing actions and combats, finding the perfect timing and rhythm while controlling both characters and battling to keep them and their relationship alive. In an unexpected RPG adventure, explore the beautifully eerie and unstable planet while enjoying the thrilling soundtrack of renowned musician Danger. A lot of compelling elements to the game, I think, from a narrative standpoint and a character interaction standpoint, those are the elements where this game is really going to have to shine and where I think if they hit on those core components, I think this is going to be one that resonates with a lot of people. We'll see how it turns out as the game is due out on December 3rd. Next up, a game that is getting a PlayStation 5 version, Spirit of the North. This is a game some of you guys might have missed out on, but it's a game that was received rather well. Came out on PC back in May of 2020, also released on PlayStation 4 and other platforms. 540 Steam user reviews, 88% positive on that end, so that's very positive. Game definitely gives you vibes of a title like Okami or something like that, but definitely visually it looks quite good. Spirit of the North is a single-player, third-person adventure game inspired by the breathtaking and mysterious landscapes of Iceland. Play as an ordinary red fox whose story becomes entwined with the guardian of the northern lights a female spirit fox the game was released at $19.99 on PC, so hopefully it'll have a similar price point on PlayStation 5. I imagine it might be a little bit more expensive, maybe $25 or $30, but it's a game that was received rather well, and I think if you are into more sublime games, games that employ a very, very good visual style, this might be one right up your alley. 
The game was noted to be uniquely designed to purposefully have no dialogue or narration. Players must breathe in their surroundings to solve various puzzles and speculate the meaning of a lost ancient civilization. This is a game where there is a narrative attached to it, but it's more for you to be left on your own devices to find, figure it out and kind of find uh, answers. Think of something like Journey, and uh, I think you'll find something not similar, but something that's at least comparable to an extent. The game is due out on the PlayStation 5. You'll be getting Spirit of the North Enhanced Edition on December 1st. So be on the lookout for that. That's probably going to be one that surprises some people. Next up, here's one that I am personally really excited for. Temtem is headed to the PlayStation 5. This one has been in early access on PC for quite a while, being published by Humble, who have published quite a few high-quality titles. They've been really on their A-game in terms of their publishing department. And Temtem, of course, you're going to hear about the comparisons to Pokemon. This is Pokemon through and through. It's not trying to hide the fact that it's implementing a lot of Pokemon fundamentals. However, Temtem is a massively multiplayer creature collection adventure. Seek adventure in the lovely airborne archipelago alongside your Temtem squad. Catch every Temtem, battle all other tamers, customize your house, join a friend's adventure, or explore the dynamic world online. So the online component is something that definitely gets a lot of people excited. Catch new Temtem on Omnesia's floating islands, battle other tamers on the sandy beaches of Denis, or trade with your friends in ash-covered fields. Defeat the ever-annoying clan Bulls Soto and end its plot to rule over the archipelago, beat all eight dojo leaders, and become the ultimate Temtem trainer. So, reading all of that, if you did not see the resemblances to Pokemon, I would imagine you have never played Pokemon in your life because that is Pokemon through and through. Nevertheless, Temtem will be headed to the PlayStation 5 and it will be coming on December 8th. Next up, I do want to note Destiny 2 will be getting a PlayStation 5 patch. So, yes, it will be upgraded for the PlayStation 5 and it will be running and looking better than ever on the PS5. Well, as far as consoles are concerned, concern probably the optimal way to play the game is still on PC, but it is a free-to-play title right now. Of course, we just had the release of Beyond Light Destiny 2 making quite the splash after Bungie has taken over of Destiny 2. Remember, it was an Activision property for a while. Bungie has split on its own, and let's see what they can make of Destiny 2 headed into 2021 and for the foreseeable future. We know that they want to keep it around as their own property, and I think they're going to be invested into it for the long run. Lastly, I do want to note Override 2 Super Mega League is coming to the PlayStation 5. This is a game that I think some people are going to have some fun with. People want their, you know, gigantic robot games, mech titles, whatever you want to call it. The gigantic robot brawler is mecking a supercharged comeback in Override 2 Super Mech League. Game is zany, over the top, and kind of wacky at times, but hey, sometimes those are the kind of games that people get really into. We'll see how that one turns out as Override 2 will be headed to the PlayStation 5 on December 27th. And that's going to conclude this video again. If you're expecting the PlayStation 5 game releases to really heat up right after the console's release, that's generally not how it works. Expect releases to heat up, you know, early 2021, mid-2021, and especially headed into the latter portion of 2021. So get excited for that. But December has a couple of titles to keep your eyes on. Of course, December's attention is going to be surrounding your Cyberpunk 2077s of the world. And as far as the PlayStation 5 is concerned, Madden 21, FIFA 21, those are also coming if you're interested in that. That's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.